Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Trader to Boston here, aka the King of Boston. Today we're back for part seven of my NBA Street Let's Play here on NBA Street in the PlayStation 2. And first I actually want to check and see no not street school if we have any skill points to use. Let's go! We got no we don't. Okay. Never mind. And I gotta sneeze. Nice. Alright, so whoops. City circuits, tragic. Uh, we've got to continue Ready to take on the in our region, so we'll do uh, two more in region number three. In the next episode, we'll have the uh, Spurs and the Street Challenge. That'll be fun. But now we got the Rockets and the Mavs. So um, stick along the lines of what we've been doing. Um, wow, we could run. That'd be a pretty big lineup. All right, we'll do it. Why not? Sean Marion, Antonio McDyson, Carl Malone. Sean Marion, running point guard. I already see Steve Francis there. Uh, I'm not sure who the other two players are on this Rockets team, though. But we will find out very shortly. Hey there, y'all. Route 66 is the spot today. This game's played at 21, and you gotta win by two points, player. All right, so somebody in the last episode told me I should look up some cheat codes and use those in the game, because a lot of them are just fun stuff like changing up the ball, playing with tiny heads, ABA socks, stuff like that. So... Uh, I will do that for the next game. I forgot to for this game. But there we go. Maurice Taylor, Catino Mobley, and Steve Francis. All right. So let's do this. We've got a really big lineup, so we'll probably try and dominate down low. And we've got a pretty good defensive lineup, too. Carl Malone wasn't a great defender, but uh, McDyson Marion, pretty good. So, all right. And that's a good start. one nothing. And I believe uh, Maurice Taylor is number two, and Catino Mobley is... Actually, no, I could be wrong. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure, to be honest. I don't know which one is Maurice Taylor. I guess Maurice Taylor's probably the small guy, now that I think about it. I just thought I saw Taylor on the back of uh, number two's jersey. No, I guess Mobley is number five. All right, never mind. I am completely wrong. Oh, nice block for Carl Malone. And Antonio McDice. Point McDice down the court. There we go. Three to one. All right, so now Katina Mobley's got it. And Carl Malone covering Katina Mobley is kind of a bad idea, but we don't really have a choice because we got a super big lineup. And I'll probably get Steve Francis from this team if uh, if we win. I don't think Taylor or Mobley really going to entice me that much. Yeah, but Steve Francis is a beast. And it'd be fun to actually run with him and then the two bigs, McDyson and Malone. Uh-oh. Block that. Oh, nice. I don't even know if that he blocked that or that just hit the rim, but... McDice down the court, 5-2 to two is the score. We don't even have like any game breaker built up, practically. Oh, Sean Marion with the block. Let's go the other way. Alley-oop? No? No one wants the alley-oop. Alright, well, let's work on our... Our combo moves. Oh yeah, Carl Malone down low. With the slam. 6-2. Maurice Taylor. Uh-oh. Oh, nice. Nicely done. Can we get another block? Oh. Oh, alley-oop. Maurice Taylor slamming at home. All right, let's do some sweet dribble moves with Antonio McDice. Oh, yeah. He's so good. I freaking love playing with McDice. Literally my favorite player in this game so far. Oh, and he gets the steal. Oh, oh, and the alley-oop to Sean Marion. Oh, my goodness. 8-3. to three. Tino Mobley. Oh, that's another steal. Nope, almost. Oh, block this. Nice. Antonio McDice. Down the court all the way. Oh, 9-3. to three. Man, he is so good. Sean Marion's also pretty good. I do enjoy using him as well. Oh, nice. Oh, oh! I was if that went in, man. But Marion down the court. Way to run the break. Ten to three. Catino Mobley. Oh, give me that. Nope. Oh, he gets the steal. Down the court. Oh my goodness. Defensive player of uh, of of this let's play. He's gonna win that award. Oh, that went off the side of the backboard. Oh, that's disgusting. Come on, shoot it again, Maurice Taylor. Oh, my goodness. We're going to get our game breaker solely off of blocks. Oh, we can't get the rebound, though. No. Shoot it. Oh, crap. They're going to try and keep the ball away from us. Uh oh. 
No, we need to get our we need to get the ball back so we can hit our game breaker. Okay, go, 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 go. No! Oh no. Oh, we're not gonna get our game breaker off, I don't think. There is a time limit on it. Yeah, it's running out. Oh my god. It's unbelievable. Alright, never get your game breaker on blocks. Unless unless you unless you know you can get the rebound. Jesus. Alright, we'll just have to build it back up. Oh yeah. Oh, alley oop. There we go. That's a good start. Fold the four. Carl Malone. My name is Carl Malone. Uh oh. Block that. Nice. We haven't really used Carl Malone too much. Oh yeah, back him down. Oh, what is that? <laughs> All right, Carl Malone making a case to not be on the team anymore. Oh, but McDice with the poster. 13 to 4. And I hate how you have to drop players now. I wish I could just keep all the players. Because it's kind of one of the reasons I like about this game. Like, that's why I never go for the skill points. Is I really just want to use all the different players. And like, all the different lineups and stuff. But whatever. If we, there's plenty of guys we can drop. Show up, At least for now. Up. That's the name of this game. Oh, yeah, man. Baby. Oh, it's McDice. Pump fake. The McDice pump fake. In the lane. Hook shot. Sky hook. Off the glass. 14 to 5. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, give me that. McDice. I mean, more like McBeth. Oh. Oh, that was gross. Another shot off the backboard. Oh, alley oop. Y'all up eight. Sean Marion. Cornrow Sean Marion. Oh, alley oop. Nice. 15 6. Uh oh. Fading three pointer. Oh. Another one? Another fading three-pointer? No. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Regular three-pointer. Oh, I can't believe I missed the block there. Alright, only up by seven. Oh. Oh. Alley-oop, nice! 16-8. We might get another game-breaker. Might actually execute this one. Oh, give, come on. This guy can't dribble. Oh, please. Oh. Yeah, no way. Come on, do it again, Maurice Taylor. It's freaking dare you. Oh, Steve Francis. Steve Francis is like a bona fide light. Oh, McDice. Uh oh. And I'm thinking for the next, uh. Oh my god, we can't get a rebound. I'm thinking for the next street challenge, I might use the two guys we have, Bonafide and Biggs, and then maybe use Sean Marion too. Marion would be a good forward with that group. Really good defensively. I think that'd be a pretty nice lineup. He's coming, he's coming. Oh. Yeah, or I could just use freaking MJ again. <laughs> Alright, let's get our game breaker. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got it. Oh, get it to McDice. Like Dice is gonna slam this on Steve Francis. Future teammates, at least in this game. Oh, 18-8. Nicely done. All right, three points from winning. Oh, Mobley's having his way though. And Steve Francis, the franchise. Oh, get out of here. Uh oh. -uh. Oh, get out of here. That's a shot clock violation to be ashamed of. Oh. Oh yeah, good pass. Oh, back to Marion. Oh, I wanted to take a three. Oh, I can't even get the rebound. Oh, look at McDice on the chase down. That was all McDice. That wasn't even Marion. Oh, Carl Malone. Carl Malone! With the reverse slam. Oh, this game is getting intense. Oh, another one. Yeah, I don't think anyone on this team gonna threes. Oh, Carl Malone from mid range. He can knock those down. Twenty to eight. Oh, McDice couldn't get another one. It's alright. We go to Malone again. Another mid range shot. I kind of want to just do another mid range shot with Carl Malone. Set me a pick. Set me a pick, Carl. Nice. Good roll. To oh, alley oop. The pick and alley oop. Lob City connection. And that is that. All right, we win. 21-9. Um, see, players of the game, McDice, nine blocks, five dunks, 
two steals. Pretty nuts. All right. So we will pick up Steve Francis here, and then next game I'm gonna use one of these cheat codes. I don't know which one. Oh man, there's a ton. Jesus. All right. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going Steve Francis. Oh, we could get old Akeem. Like washed up Akeem, but nah, we gotta go Steve Francis. All right, so we gotta drop someone. Uh, let's drop Kenny Anderson. All right, cool. So next game, we're taking on the Mavericks, I believe. Or we can maybe pick up a young Steve Nash or a young Dirk Nowitzki. Nowitzki. Um, wow, there's a, a no dunks uh, friggin' cheat code. That'd be pretty nuts. I might go with... I think next game, we'll just go with a, a funny ball. Or maybe we can do tiny heads. I don't know. Or big heads. Actually, I'm doing big heads if I can. All right, let's do this. We gotta get the big heads. Oh yeah, wait, first we gotta pick our team. All right, let's go. Steve Francis, Carl Malone. Yeah, we'll go Francis and the two big ones. All right, all right, here we gotta go. Uh, big heads. Or, oh, I don't think we're gonna be able to do this. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. We got big heads. <laughs> I'm looking up on literally IGN.com backslash cheats. <laughs> Hey there, y'all! Route 66 is the spot today! This game is the 20th Oh, what the heck? I guess that didn't work. No one has big heads. Too, what the hell? Oh, I wanted big heads. It's time to bring on the next Whatever. matchup, baby! Right, I'll just take a look at who's on this. Mavs team, we got Malone, McDyson, Francis for us. Dirk, Michael Finley, and Steve Nash. That is... Jesus, that's a good team. Holy smokes. Let's get it on! Could honestly pick any of those three players and be pretty happy. I don't know who we're going to go with, though. Maybe Steve Nash. It's a good start. Oh, there we go. Alright, there's, like, no music playing, which gets me concerned, because the last time I played a game and there was, uh, like, one of the audio things was missing, it froze. So, hopefully this game doesn't freeze. I'm going to be pretty mad if it does. I could, probably could have gone with the alley-oop there to Steve Francis, but that's alright. Yeah, we really want to use Steve Francis this game. Oh. Nice. And, um, yeah, it would have been cool to use, uh, Sean Marin instead of Calm Malone, because that's kind of, I, I kind of think Steve Francis, I kind of think Steve Francis and, uh, and, uh, Antonio McDyess are pretty much light versions of Bonafide and Biggs in this game, and to use them with Marion, that's pretty much the lineup I think I might use in the next Street Challenge, so it'd be cool to preview it a little bit, but, uh, Michael Finley with the rebounds, oh, Calm Malone! Bad help defense there. Bad defense all around on that one. Let's get Steve Francis though. Let's just start doing freaking moves. Oh yeah. Alley up to make dice. Three to one. And I guess now the music's playing, so hopefully your game doesn't freeze. But our defense is definitely worse. Oh shoot, I forgot. Michael Finley just drains him from outside, but it does not matter. Because we've got Antonio McDice goaltending all day. Four to one. Oh my goodness, McDice. Oh, it's a Carl Malone. Malone down low. Uh, there we go. Five to one. This is a battle of two great power forwards here in Malone and Dirk. Didn't even realize that. And we'll have another one next game when we have Duncan. And I guess we won't. We, I don't know if we'll use Malone next game. I guess we will. Oh, Malone. Oh, alley oop to Steve Francis. Six to one. Dirk with it now. Uh oh. Oh, Dirk from way downtown. Oh, we missed. Oh, Carl Malone all the way down the court. Oh, yeah. Dirk can't block that. 7-1. to one. And I'm thinking for the next region, I might try upping the difficulty again, because these games are starting to become blowouts pretty easily. So I'm starting to get a lot better at this game. So I'm thinking after the next three challenge, I'll probably up the difficulty to medium again. Try it out. Oh, Steve Francis. Nah, yeah, I don't really want to shoot that. Let's give it to McDice with the reverse slam. Ugh. My goodness. Get back down the court though. Oh, Dirk. Alright, 8 4. Let's get our game breaker though with the franchise here. Oh, yeah. Look at the moves. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Steve Francis from downtown. For the four point play, essentially. There we go. 10 to 2. Open up the game there a little bit. They had four? I had no idea they had four points. Jesus. Alright. Call Malone. Uh oh. Oh yeah, Michael oh, Finley from downtown. That's the nice thing. If we if we did choose Michael Finley over Nash and uh, uh, freaking Dirk, even though it would seem like a dumb decision, Finley probably just drains threes in this game. 
like non-stop. Smash. Oh, Dirk. Oh. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh man, Dirk from downtown. Actually, all three of these guys can just drain threes. Now that I think about it. Oh, alley oop. Two McDice. 12 6. Alright, now let's keep using McDice here down low. Oh yeah, Dirk. Oh, alley oop. Two Michael Finley. Wow. The franchise, though. Oh, putting Nash on his. Oh my goodness. And the alley oop. Oh, I didn't think I was actually going to get that off. Whew. Oh, blocked by Carl Malone. It's D. Francis. Down the court. Down the court. Alley oop to Malone. 14 7. Now we've doubled them up again. Michael Finley kind of looks like Jalen Rose in this game. Just saying. Steve Nash. Steve Nash D. Uh oh. Oh, I left Finley wide open in the corner there. I thought he was going to pop that. Oh, Nash. No good. Man, we can't get the rebound though. Uh-uh, no sir, Michael Finley. Take another one, I dare you. Okay. Probably shouldn't have done that. Yo, team's up by five. Yo, team's up by five. Yeah, man, this this Mavs team is actually giving us uh, more than... The, uh, pretty much the most we've, we've uh, had. Or what, what am I trying to say? They've been the toughest team we've played in a while, so... This is a very good team. Mainly because they're shooting. Oh, but... Oh, man, how'd they get that? I don't even know how to dive in this game. Should try and block it with Steve Francis. No, it didn't work. Ugh, gross. I bet Steve Nash can't dunk in this game. Let's go. Oh yeah, pump fake. Down the court. Ooh, 16-10. We could get another game breaker. I'd love to actually get a game-winning game breaker. That'd be pretty nice. It's got to be some sort of challenge. Like on, on, a, on a PlayStation 3, that'd totally be a, a trophy. But man, they're staying in this game. Let's get our meter up, though. Oh yeah. Anyone want to go for an alley oop? Or not? I'll just take this. Nice. Okay. 17 12. Oh. My goodness. Alright. Oh, yeah. Get on your ankles. Oh, Steve Francis to the hoop. Oh, he missed. Oh, my goodness. Oh, now it's a three point game. Alright, let's get it back to McDice. McDice is our best player. Point McDice. Down the court. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Alright. Yeah, I really want to hit a game winning two point game breaker. <laughs> It'd be pretty rad. Oh, my God, though. They're going to make this a game. Alright, let's just get another point. Oh, yeah, with McDice. Nice. 19 6. Now we can get a game breaker on the way down the next next possession and then hit the three and win it. Oh. Oh yeah. Gimme. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, block this. Oh, come on, you can't block Jack. Steve Francis time. Get the game. Oh yeah. Here we go. Oh, get on the ground, Steve Nash. And Steve Francis for the win. Kaboom! 21-14, the Game Breaker wins it. Look at that. That's pretty nice. Alright. So, let's see what we're going to pick up now. Player of the game, again, Antonio McDice. Only 5 blocks this time, he did have 10 points. Michael Finley, I think he probably had 8 points on 4 threes. Or 2s, technically, whatever. But alright, so which NBA player shall we pick up? Michael Finley, Dirk... Steve Nash. I honestly think Michael Finley looks better than both these guys. Don't want you. Oh, seven foot six, Sean Bradley. <laughs> Could go with him, but I think he'll pass. Um, man, Michael Finley looks like he's the best player out of all these guys. Out of both these, I might go with him. Yeah, I think so. All right. Only thing he can't do is blocks. Yeah, that's fine. All right, Michael Finley. Let's drop. Um, now we're, see, now we're getting to the point where I actually have to drop good players. I'll we'll probably drop... Well, well, let's drop Tony Batie first. Alright, so that is that. That is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And I'm out.